Hi. Okay. Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Julia Pollock, and I am the current Art of Science artist and curator at the Carl R. Woes Institute for Genomic Biology. Um, we do a lot of work here, and we also like to do a lot of outreach. So we like to teach people about science, and one of the ways we do that is our Art of Science program. Um, and since we can't sadly be together in big groups at gallery openings. Um, I thought that we would have a few conversations online with some of our scientists um, and talk about the imagery that you can see online. Um, so welcome. Um, hi, uh, could you please give us your name and the lab you work in, please? Yeah, my name is Kevin. Um, I'm, I work, I'm working in Dr. Andrew Leakey's lab. Awesome. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about um, the original image that is pictured um, and why it is important to take images of your specific samples? Um, the image is showing the surface of a corn leaf in microscale. The total area of the image is about one-tenth of the fingernail. Those round shaped cells you can see with a pore in the center are called stomata. Through these pores, CO2 flows into the plant and are used in photosynthesis. And simultaneously, water vapor escapes through the same path. Mm -hmm. So analyzing the density and size of stomata is key to know how fast plants are assimilating CO2 and losing water. Awesome, thank you. Um, and I know that you use your images as your data. Can you tell us a little bit about how you collect information from your images? Yeah, um, I trained a machine learning algorithm which can automatically recognize and segment all the stomata for me, saving me the time drawing circles on my computer. It outputs the total number of stomata in the image as well as the width, length, and area for each stoma. It breaks the bottleneck of data collection and makes possible the large scale experiments. Awesome. Uh, thank you so much. Um, so when I began working with your images um, and hearing this about your work, I really wanted to make the art piece that we made um, sort of uh, speak to those kind of things. Um, so I thought it was really important to focus on the gridded nature of how your machine is looking at your images. Um, that's why uh, our final video together has this very quilted appeal. And I was actually very happy that we converted the show into video for this piece specifically, yeah. um, because I think it sort of shows how um, a, more of a view of the computer vision, how you have to like look at these different layers and count in these very um, square spaces, um, which is what I was sort of trying to denote with the original flat image. Um, but this sort of like moving in and out of these squares, I feel like um, captures a little more closely how your um, machine processing looks at um, parts of the image to then count the whole image. Um, so it's been really wonderful to work with your excellent, beautiful images. <laughs> Thank you. It looks great. I, I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much for participating and um, yeah, have a great day. Thank you. You too. Okay.